This is Jason Forrest with AvidBuilder.com at the 2011 International Builder Show. And I'm here at the Legrand booth with Alex Weaver, the Director of Sales for OnQ. Uh, they have some interesting new products right now for the production builder on home automation. So Alex, tell us about it. Well, thank you, Jason, for having me. I'd like to share the Unity system with you folks. Um, behind us is the Unity system, and we'll talk a little bit about it, but what we tried to address at Legrand is with the OnQ product, having a technology product that's affordable for more of the average consumer. In the past, there's been a lot of technology out there, great systems, but they are only affordable to more the custom type home builder and the luxury home buyers. So the Unity system is our way to address more of the mass market type technology. Yeah, I think this is really neat. So, so you're telling me for uh, an entry level buyer, just uh, 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 so they're buying their first home, they could actually afford a system like this? That's our target market, entry level up to move up and kind of semi-custom. It's very scalable, so we can start off kind of basic, or if depending on what their needs are and their budgets are, we get pretty sophisticated. That's, that's neat. So, so tell me exactly uh, what can I do? So can I control my music? Can I uh, turn my TV on and off? Yep. And what exactly can I do? Things like music and portability of music and digital music is very popular today. So we need to address that. Intercom, communication within the house, or maybe even a safety about someone coming to the front door when you're out here at a trade show. Those types of things are addressed. Computers, people have networks, whether it's a hardwired or wireless, we address that as well. And then getting back to the basics of phone and TV communication, that's what we do as well. Okay, so so let's say I, you know, right now we're in a, in a digital age yeah. and uh, everyone's got an iPhone or a BlackBerry. Mm-hmm. And so is it possible for uh, someone like myself who travels a lot, can I take out my iPhone and see my house? We can do a couple things um, with your iPhone, things like it, when you're home, plugging it in here and having your music distributed throughout your house or maybe just in your room. And then with an iPhone to pull up, maybe to control your lights. If you want to turn the lights off, at, at the evening time, we can do things like that. That's great. That's great. So how exactly, uh, how would a sales team that's working for a builder, how would they use this to uh, differentiate themselves from the other builders that are out there? It's about technology, I think, and as well as the lifestyle of their home buyers. I mean, we, we know there's a lot of iPads out there and iPhones and things like that. We, uh, kids these days need to be connected to the Internet for schoolwork and school projects, and people might have home offices. So those types of lifestyle addressing, as well as entertainment. They might have friends over, they might do dinners or cocktails, they want to have a large kitchen and, and entertainment area. Those types of things the home buyer and your sales team want to address and ask the questions about. And then we can build a system that meets their needs and their lifestyle. So Alex, show me some of the uh, cool features that OnQ has. Okay, we, we talked about this Unity system and how the technology is getting brought together. Here's an LCD that you might have in a kitchen or a family room. And you can see here, brings up intercom, so I can call the whole house, I can call specific rooms. If I move over, weather, check the weather in the morning, see what's going on, uh, what kind of clothes I need to put on the kids. Messages, leave messages for the kids. When you come back from school this afternoon, make sure you get your homework done. Cameras, security around the house might be important, or maybe there's a baby or a senior living in the house that might need to be supervised at times. Uh, lighting control is very important. Uh, this is a setup menu here. And then events, things like um, within a home at 7 o'clock in the morning, I want the music to come on, the lights to come on with my daughter. Or a home builder in a model home. Maybe want the lights and the music to be set before the model home opens and things to go off in the when a lot of closes in the afternoon. So that's great. So you're, you're telling me, Alex, that, that uh, as a parent, uh, the, the, one of the hardest things is getting our kids up from bed in the morning. So you're telling me I can actually set an alarm that, that uh, my, my daughter uh, is woken up by, by music and, and her lights get turned on at 7 a.m. in the morning to go to school. Is that correct? That's correct. And on the weekends, you can let her sleep in about a half an hour later then. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> well, let me show you kind of how this all stuff works. So we talked about these technologies. So if we come on down this way, these different technologies, like you know, the intercom and the music and the cameras, they get all brought back to a central box. And this is kind of a main distribution or main hub that everything gets tied into. And on a, on a small or basic home or basic needs, we can have a very simple system, or we can expand it to a larger box with more wires and technology. We want this to be flexible. We know the technology is going to change over time, but having a good infrastructure of wires within a home, we should be able to do a, a good job of kind of future-proofing the home. So the question that every builder is wanting to know is, what's the cost? Cost, well, you can, you can address it a couple different ways. We talked about how the system is very scalable, a lot of different technologies. When I think about 
you know, a typical home, 2,500, 3,000 square foot home in America right now. About a dollar per square foot kind of gives you a pretty good system. If you were to double that two dollars per square foot, you get a very sophisticated type system. So you're saying for 3,000 square feet, 3,000 bucks. That gets you a pretty good system with maybe some distributed music, maybe an intercom, a phone and TVs being distributed throughout the house, something like that. So Alex, this is like the Ford Focus where they can plug in their iPod. Well, you think about that. A car, a very affordable car, you can plug your iPod in. There's a lot of homes right now you can't. So we're trying to bring technologies where you can plug your iPod in your home as well as in your car. Thanks a lot, Alex. This is Jason Forrest with AvidBuilder.com from the 2011 International Builder Show. You heard it here first.